Hi everyone, my name is Anaka. I'm part of the Data Science Discovery team and in this video today we will be doing a question um, regarding correlation. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we're given basically the set of data points, right? And we want to calculate the correlation coefficient of these six data points. Now, um, yes, you can do this by hand, right? You can see here that the average um, and standard deviation of both our x and y values are given. Uh, so there's definitely, you know, ways to do this mathematically by hand. Um, however, since, you know, we can also use Python to calculate this, right? We don't really care if these average or standard deviations are given, right? We just care about the data points. So in this video, we're going to be calculating the correlation coefficient using Python, using the df.core function, right? So let's, um, you know, go ahead and get started. So here I want to first define my data frame, right? So my data frame... Um, is just going to uh, use the command pd.dataframe, right, where I'm going to go ahead and define my data frame um, within the actual parentheses, right? So this is a way that you can initialize a data frame in pandas. There's definitely other ways to do it, but I'll just do it this way. So within our data frame, we'll also be initializing our dictionary, right, that's going to contain all of our data. Um, so First, my column is going to be called X, right? And I'll have basically a list for that. And then my second column will be called Y, and I'll basically have a list um, for those numbers, right? So here, my X numbers are just 1, 5, 7, 10, 11, and 14. 7, 10, 11, 14. And then my Y values are just 11, 7, 6, 2, 4, 7. So 11. And now I just want to go ahead and calculate my correlation coefficient, which is just df.core, um, which is basically this table right here, right? Except that's not our final answer, right? This is a table that kind of represents all of the correlation coefficients between um, each of the variables, right? Here, we can... Um, we want to pick out like basically a specific number and you'll see here that this is basically um, right a, ma a matrix where um, you know the, the one here d uh, signifies that the correlation coefficient between X and X that should be one right that's that's obvious and then the correlation coefficient between Y and Y it's basically the same variable it should also be one right because they're going to be perfectly correlated because they're the same variable um, and the correlation coefficient between x and y is the same thing as a correlation coefficient between y and x, right? So basically it's saying that the correlation of x and y is equal to the correlation between y and x, right? Which is um, basically a rule, right? It's, it's the same regardless of whether you flip it around or not, right? So our correlation, our r value is basically this negative 0 0.647689, um, which I can go ahead and post uh, right here. So that's basically it. Uh, it doesn't really matter, right, if we're given the average and the standard deviation. The key is basically just to define your data frame correctly and knowing which, um, which function to use for identifying um, all of the correlation coefficients between the variables we have defined. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.